I think like big rowboats like this are great. Having such a big boat that people can go in together, I think is really awesome to me. In my childhood, my boating experiences have sort of led me to be interested in building boats. And I'd like to build more bigger rowboats to like go on adventures with. The boat that I'm working on right now is pretty different than this boat, but I think this boat represents some projects that I would like, like to work towards. I really think to me, what I want to do is build a, like a really useful boat that is really unique and has a lot of character. You know, this is totally, this is a totally made up boat in a way. I wanted to make it bright and showy just because I not wanted to be held to any convention. I'm Josh Tolkien and I'm a boat builder and I work in Betsy Bowen's church which is a funny place for a boat builder to build a boat. <laughs> so this is like, this is the trouble of like building a boat in this kind of environment as I'm like trying to look at it. It's hard to figure out the right again perspective on the sh squareness and the evenness of the shape. <laughs> but I think this is good. I've been inspired by him taking a craft that typically wouldn't fit in like a 20 by 20 foot space and just going for it. Well, it's clear from the moment you meet Josh, his enthusiasm for boat building and for sharing that with others. Um, and he came to us saying, you know, I've been to boat building school and learned these technical aspects of the trade. Um, how do I create this as a profession for myself? And what would that mean to be an entrepreneur and start my own business? You know, I think I wouldn't have considered coming to this program if it wasn't at least two years. And I think that like that kind of time to invest in myself was really attractive. The stitching for this has been a two-part process. The first was just sort of a running seam to sort of pull together the fabric. Like it's one giant piece of ballistic nylon canvas that was just seamed together down the middle of the boat. And now I'm really just dressing up the seam by sewing this welting in. Sort of reason for me to do this project was I was interested in building the inside of this boat and now I'm sort of figuring out how to do the outside of the boat which is not necessarily in my wheelhouse but um, it's also, it's always good to just kind of teach yourself new things too. It's interesting to me that like I don't know, you know, the uh, Aleutian native people who built these boats came up with this design and I like to think that they like kind of knew enough about like naval architecture to, you know, think it was a good idea, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the traditional Bidarkas were all made out of like really like roots and really skinny willow and pieces of the wood that bent really easily and naturally and there's a lot more framing and I wanted to build something that was like lightweight, didn't have as many pieces, so it's sort of my own, you know, my own methodology for putting this boat together, <laughs> which has been fun. It's been really great because uh, it allows me to be creative and that's what I like to do.